state-of-the-art technologies, innovative business strategies, behind the scenes, insights from cutting-edge users around the globe on World Business Review with Alexander Haig. Welcome to World Business Review. I'm Alexander Haig. At the time of the Industrial Revolution in the late 1800s, no one could have predicted the impact that the industrial waste problem would have had on our water supply. Since then, there have been ongoing efforts to clean up this endangered commodity and prevent further contamination. Here for this discussion from Oil Trap Environmental Products is company president, Dale Nelson. Dale, we're delighted to have you. Thank you, Al. I appreciate the opportunity. Now, our industry expert for this segment is Dr. Richard Moss, professor of environmental science at the University of North Carolina, Asheville. Dr. Moss, we're always delighted to have you on the show. Thank you, Al. It's great to be here. Now, Dr. Moss, just how serious is the issue of industrial waste as it relates to our water supply? Al, this is becoming a global issue uh, with global industrialization, and it's an issue that in the developed countries we have put many billions of dollars over the last 30 years um, into addressing. And quite frankly, we've, we've made considerable progress, but we need to do better. We need new technologies to really be able to keep our water supplies uh, clean, because we need those waters as uh, world population continues to grow. Good. Now, Dale, tell our viewers how your technology differs from what's already available. Well, what's already available predominantly is mechanical and, uh, uh, filtration and chemical flocculation. Uh, mm -hmm. What we are is an electrical-based product, which means that you no longer have to deal with the mechanics associated with treatment. Being that it's electrical, it can be automated, and we even have systems running remotely that we can monitor from our factory facilities. Dale, for years, and for many years, um, the most common methods of decontaminating water, of course, have been mechanical filtration, chemical coagulation, bioremediation. Well, what prompted you and your com company to investigate a an entire new method of water uh, pollution treatment? Well, we have an ongoing R&D program, and we are always striving to look for the water treatment uh, techniques that work the best. We stumbled across this about oh, 12 or 13 years ago and began developing it. Uh, basically, it's a, it's a technology that you can entirely automate and at the same time reduce the workload of the actual operator in the field dramatically. Now, Dale, what is electropulse and what is electrocoagulation, or EC? Electropulse is our uh, version of electrocoagulation. Electrocoagulation is known in the industry as EC, and it's a fairly generic terminology. What we do is we bring it into computerized processes and design systems specifically for specific waste streams based upon what they have to pull out of their water. Well, Dale, could you briefly summarize to us what you see as, as the strengths and, and weaknesses of electrocoagulation. Basically, the, the number one strength is the fact that because it's automated, the operator intervention is next to nothing. So compare that to mechanical filtration or chemical treatment where you have a, a support staff to take care of the, the treatment system. With ours, it's basically uh, cut by one-tenth the, the time. So uh, when you go into the new designs, you get into an environment where the systems themselves will dramatically reduce the cost to the end user. Very good. Now, Dale, how long have you been in EC systems and supplying them? Well, we delivered our first system eight years ago. And okay. since then, we've been, uh, that first year, we've doubled production every year. And most recently, we came out with a completely new line of, of electrocoagulation technologies and we're looking very much forward to, to rolling those out that are far more cost competitive to uh, some of the existing technologies than, than what we previously had to offer. Very good, not many could say that. Now, how much water can your systems process? Well, typically our marketplace is, starts at around five gallons a minute and goes up to about 100 gallons a minute. But we have <laughs> systems that we've designed at three gallons a minute and we have systems that we've installed that are running 200 gallons a minute in production. Good. Dr. Moss, where do you see the biggest range in flow rate? 
Well, Al, um, obviously there are a moderate number of, of large industries and, and uh, large industrial and, and domestic wastewater treatment plants that could use this technology. But I, I think that the biggest market is in the tens of thousands of small uh, wastewater generators where this could be an excellent um, uh, operator-free on-site uh, system for being able to clean their water before discharge to a stream or discharge to a, a municipal um, uh, sewer system. Good. Now, Dale, how do you save your customers money today? Operational cost. While our price points are directly comparable to mechanical filtration on system purchase, where they really benefit is the ongoing uh, operational cost. The, the employee that needs to take care of the system is almost eliminated from the process. Okay. Well, Dale, who do you think should be uh, seriously checking out electrocoagulation as an option? Uh, Dr. Moss, we've been doing this for about 12 years, and we have a good track record of what applications we are very successful with and, and others that we are not. So the, I would encourage anybody that's looking to uh, update their treatment systems to give us a call and we will walk them through the very basic scenarios of what it's going to take to make a successful installation. And if we can't help them, we'll tell them that. Yeah. Now, doctor, what are the benefits of EC technology? Well, the, the obvious benefit um, is the biggest is that, in fact, um, you generally, for the, for the small to medium scale operations, um, you don't need an operator. This will really run by itself. And so that itself is, is a huge advantage. Um, the other big advantage is that um, you um, uh, really are not adding chemicals. You're using uh, electric field to be able to remove particles and chemicals. Mm -hmm. Now, the thing I really like about uh, this company's technology is that they're not just doing electrocoagulation. They're actually combining electrocoagulation with um, oxidation to remove uh, heavy metals and um, so this, and also a flotation technology to uh, be able to remove other pollutants. So uh, it looks like it's a very specifically tailored system that can remove a wider range of, of pollutants than other electro technology systems I've seen. Okay, now once again, the clock tells us it's uh, time's up. And so we're going to have to thank you very much for your very, very fine contribution today. Thank you, I appreciate it. Good. And doctor, as always, your contributions are indispensable, and we're grateful. Well, thank you for that, Al. And thank you for watching. Until next time, for World Business Review, I'm Alexander Hayes.